In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop the relationship between stress and bending moment. For the purpose of developing the relationship and to make sure you understand clearly, I will be using a beam with an oval shape cross section. The shape of this beam is consistent along its length. Think of an arrangement, something similar to this, where we would have a simply supported beam with a point load in the middle. In this case, we will have tensile stresses at the bottom of the beam and compressive stresses at the top of the beam. Going back to this cross section of the oval shaped beam, where we have noted the neutral axis with NA. This red dashed line is the neutral axis. What we are going to do is, we are going to consider a very small strip in this beam with a delta y thickness and this strip is located a distance of y from neutral axis. As the thickness of this strip is very small, we can consider this strip as a rectangle. In other words, change in length is negligible when we go from the bottom line of this strip to the top line of this strip. And therefore, we can consider that the width of this strip is B. Now we can write that the area of this small strip, delta A, is equal to B times delta Y. The stress on this very small strip can be written as sigma, which is equal to modulus of elasticity times y over r. y is the distance from neutral axis in xy plane, if we say xy plane xy, and the r is the radius of curvature. If we look at the deformation of this beam arrangement, it will be something similar to this and r is the radius of curvature in this beam. I have already covered how to develop this relationship between stress, strain and radius of curvature in a previous video. Please click on the YouTube card here or follow the link in the description box below to that video if you would like to know more about this equation and how to derive it. This very small strip we are considering is in tension in our arrangement and it is stretched or elongated. This tensile stress is caused by a very small force, let's say delta F force, acting normal to the section, something like this, in this way. And this delta F force is a small element of the total force. We know that the stress is equal to force over cross-sectional area. We can write sigma is equal to F over A. Then we can write sigma is equal to delta F over delta A and we can rewrite this as delta F is equal to sigma times delta A. Then we can replace this sigma with E times Y over R. Then we can write delta F is equal to E times Y over R times delta a. Now we know the force in this small strip and the distance from the neutral axis to this strip. So we can calculate the bending moment about neutral axis using those values. We can write the bending moment in the small strip about neutral axis delta m is equal to y times delta f. Now we can replace this delta F with this expression and we can write delta M is equal to Y times E times 
y over r times delta a. In the limit state, when delta y tends to zero, the number of strips in our section tends to infinity. Therefore, we can write the total bending moment m is equal to summation of all the delta m values. We can rewrite this as m is equal to e times y times y over r dA. This is equal to e over r y square dA. Now we know what this is. By definition, this is the second moment of area of the section about neutral axis and this is noted as capital I. This is also known as the moment of inertia. So now we can replace this expression with I and we can rewrite M is equal to EI over R. And we know that E over R is equal to sigma over Y. Please click on this YouTube card or follow the link in the description box below to find out more about this relationship. Let's combine these two relationships. When we combine these two relationships, we can write m over i is equal to sigma over y and this is equal to e over r. Now we have finished developing the relationship between stress and bending moment and this equation is called the bending equation. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions about this video, please post your questions in the comment section below and I will see you all in my next video.